Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a visualization template with data properties and visualization properties on Vita.io. Uh, it is one of the features that we offer uh, so that you can make your data visualization reusable for non-technical people. Um, so here, uh, I'm just going to use an example of a simple line chart from uh, Mike uh, D3 Gallery. Uh, I reorganized the parameters a little bit so they uh, are showing up at the top here. Um, so in this visualization, it's a line chart. So we want to configure these properties for the chart or we want to make these properties for the chart so other people can clone and configure the chart um, according to their needs. So the first one would be uh, x-axis data, y-axis data, uh, the line color, uh, the y-axis label, which is the price here. And then we're going to put uh, in the, the formatter for the x-axis data. Um, so um, this is the, the pure D3 code. So now we're going to transform some of these strings into data and visualization properties. So first I'm going to go to the properties tab and I'm going to click edit. And the first two properties are going to be data columns and they're going to be x-axis data. And vita.io automatically generates a property name variable for me so I don't need to uh, type it in. I'm just going to click add. And then the second one is going to be y-axis data. And I'm adding that one. And the third one will be the line color. It's going to be a string. Line color. Actually, line color would be a color. So I get the color picker. There we go. And then the third one would be the string of y-axis label. And then the final one would be another string. And it would say x-axis time format. And it generates me an attribute. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert this string in here. Y-axis label is gonna be price and then dollar sign. And I'm gonna save the document. Now let's go back to the uh, data property, uh, the, the code. And actually, let's try something interesting. Let's me raise the price uh, dollar sign here. And I'm just gonna show you so now I can access the variable using uh, config.yaxis label. So I'm going to do yaxis label. And notice there's a dollar sign here. And once I refresh, the dollar sign is gone. So the visualization now is pulling the attribute from the properties data here. So I'm going to add the dollar sign back in. And I'm going to go ahead and replace all the other one with the config variable. So it's going to be x-axis data. And it's going to be config.y-axis data. And it's going to be config.line color. And then it's going to be config.x-axis time format. And I'm going to save. The visualization stays the same. Um, now, this is my sample. I'm going to change the name to, to make it a template. Now I have a visualization template. And uh, for example, I can change the color interactively. And when I save, the color will be refreshed. And this visualization uh, now can be reused by other people, uh, applying this data and update the properties. Uh, so uh, let's follow that example and I'm just going to click clone of this template. And in this visualization, I'm going to apply the Seattle temperature data set into this visualization. Um, 
and I'm gonna go here and upload my data set Seattle 2012 temper temperature oops let's upload again and then since my date format has changed it's gonna be year month day so I need to go here and update my x-axis time format it's gonna be percent year percent month percent day uh, you can look up this format with the d3 formatter reference um, so once I have that I can save automatically refresh my data uh, columns here and let's say I'm gonna pick a different uh, data column I'm gonna do the mean temperature instead and once I refresh I get the new line drawn and I'm gonna say mean temperature in Fahrenheit and when I save I get the label updated so now I have a visualization that can be reused by just applying data and changing the data properties um, this would be helpful to non-technical members of the team who want to play with the visualization so that's it um, you can check out uh, configure variables on uh, vida.io and configure your visualization to be reusable thanks for watching my video bye